Hey, Dick the Diver here. Another in the series on the uh, Sea Life DC 2000 camera. And we're going to recap a little bit on what the first video was. Uh, we need to make sure that all the lens surfaces are clean. Clean the camera. Make sure this is clean. Okay, make sure the O-ring is serviced. And I'll do a little short video on how to do that. Um, and then make sure you get the desiccant pack is in there. That gets any, soaks up any moisture. Humidity. Doesn't really soak up water. Soaks up humidity so the camera doesn't fog over. Okay, then recapping on the first one. You need to make sure that this symbol if you're going to take you need to start someplace to make that clear you can start any place you want to but you need to index this with the one on the case the housing so i'm going to start with in the underwater setting right there as a little fish then on the housing we're going to put the fish on there too okay because if you get the index mixed up if you, if you have this set on one thing and this on another, you get mixed up. You can still figure it out, but it's hard to do when you're in the water. Okay, so now we get that set. We're going to drop this in there. Now, a good thing about this is it's a waterproof camera. So if you don't get this completely sealed right and you get a little drop of water in there, it's not going to be a lost day. It's a good deal. It's a waterproof camera, I think, to 50 feet. Okay, so we're going to close this up. Everything's clean and serviced. We're going to fold this in, snap that good. Now, we have this indexed on underwater because it has a little fishy on there. Okay, that way you can turn it and the inside one turns in the same way. That's really important. Really important. Okay, another thing important is don't set it on auto focus. Don't set the camera on auto focus. You're going to have to use the focus in the button. For typical point and shoot cameras, you got to hold the button down a little bit to uh, to take a picture. Hold it down, then take your picture. You have to do the autofocus. Won't work underwater. It just won't work. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to connect it to a flash gun. Now all of the major underwater strobes work essentially the same way and nowadays they all instead of any kind of wiring they work with a fiber optic cable and that's what this is inside here is a piece of glass cable and the light from the flash gun your flash gun is on okay for the light from the flash gun goes off and sets that or makes it go off and it hits this and triggers the strobe. Okay? So let's take a look at what we need to do next. So with the camera in the housing, everything's clean. The camera also needs to be set on flash with a little lightning bolt thing. That will trigger the fiber optic cable. So we got a tray. This is a very simple tray. And you can actually buy these trays with a, a strobe, several different brands. This is an Enon, I-N-O-N-S 2000 strobe. I love it. I've, it just worked perfect. I have two of them actually. And if you, if you use two of them together, there's a second hole here for the other fiber optic cable. So that's even better. And it, it has through the lens metering into this, so it knows this exactly how to set the light. It's, it's magic. It really is. Okay? So we're going to connect this to a tray. You have to have a tray to do this. Uh, you can get Sea Life has their own um, flash system. That probably would be a good idea to do. Um, 
I don't have that. Uh, they didn't supply me with one. But so I'm using what I have. And it shows you that you don't have to have the Sea Life flash or video light. Now, with a video light, you put a video light on this tray and the same way, but there's no connection. It's just a uh, high powered light. So, let's come in close. Let's zoom in here. This adapter came with a camera and it just snaps on here like this. That's all there is to it. And if you run this cable so it doesn't get in the um, picture, then that's all you have to do to connect a strobe to this camera. It's really just that simple, like that. You can get all different kinds of arms. If you buy a arm, a single arm with or a base with a single arm, you'll probably get something like this. You can get a double one. I have a double one. Okay. So we're going to show you how it works. I'm going to turn the camera on, and then I'm going to turn the strobe on right here. One simple little button right there. Yep. The light comes on. Now, I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to hold the button in a little bit. There we go. I got it. It's just that simple. Okay, so um, really that's all you need to do to hook a strobe to one of these. Pretty quick. There's some other things you need to learn when you do it, but you're going to learn these things by doing them. So, get a base, the arm, the strobe. There's a whole bunch of different brands. Mosaic Underwater has all you would need. Contact them and tell them what you want to do. You can price what it costs to get a Sea Life package with a strobe. I think I have it with one strobe or two strobes or a strobe and a video light that you can get a package for that. Now when you get those, you don't have this kind of an articulating arm. But this is a this is a beginner camera. So you don't need a really fancy light to go with it. It's only good for a few feet anyhow, really. So enjoy. Use your Sea Life DC two thousand camera and have fun taking underwater pictures. This is Dick the Diver. Out. Get wet.